Hi Instagram, hi social media, how are you? This week I'll talk to you about why pain can be your best friend. As you dig through the history books and try to emulate the great leaders out there who come in different forms and shapes, ranging from beautiful altruistic leaders such as Mother Teresa to war generals like George Washington, one thing that unifies them is that they all have had great success, great achievements that they have accomplished. Now, the other thing that connects them is that they've all gone through a great amount of pain that has allowed them to gain the knowledge and experience to propel them to that position of power. In fact, pain is our body's natural alarm system that has kept us alive for centuries and centuries, over millions of years, and is indispensable to our life. Furthermore, pain can be discovered in your body mental state or emotional state and we really should start to pay more attention to it. Let me ask you this question. When you pick up a knife, do you hold its blade or its handle? The reason why you take the handle instead of the blade is because pain has taught you through experience that it is not a smart idea to grab it by the blade. However, humans are very, very intelligent, have come up with many ways to remove ourselves from pain, really allowing us to thrive in life. However, the 21st century is not the same as before Christ eras and nowadays we end up shutting down all kinds of pain which we really shouldn't be doing. Pain is our teacher and best friend at most times today. So what do I mean when I say that the pain of the 21st century is different? Pain is pain, right? Well, when it comes to physical pain, I agree with you. But we're very good to fix our physical pain with painkiller, surgery and other medical treatments. What I really want to talk about is your mental pain and emotional pain. How many times have you drank alcohol, taken drugs or simply turned on the TV to shut out some pain that you've experienced? Perhaps heartbreak, perhaps your boss was really being a today but really when you start to blur out these emotions this pain this feeling of mental distress you are removing yourself from a very solution to your problem very often we know what we're supposed to do and that's the discomfort knowing that we know is discomfort because then it's up to us when it is up to us you can't blame anybody else but yourself you see it's your responsibility meaning it's the ability to respond to the situation you're a human being for God's sake like you're the top of the top you have managed to be alive in a 21st century and if you're able to watch this you probably have enough money to do anything you want in your life so please stop whinging and stop turning off your feelings and start listening start paying attention to your pains and transform it into motivation to take action and bring about the change that you want to see in your life you don't want to be that guy lying in a deathbed wishing to have done something different in their life you too will die very soon so you better take some action now